If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that at the end of last year, I bought a new house for myself, and that is this house right here. And it also happens to be my dad's childhood home. Up until recently, this is where my grandma lived. She's doing fine. Grandma Lovey is doing just fine. Um, but you can't live alone anymore. So I saw an opportunity to buy the house for my family, and that's exactly what I did. Now, the house is gonna get completely renovated. Like, it's pretty extensive. So I figured I'd show you what it looks like before they start demo next week. Before we get into like renovations and the tour and all that kind of stuff, I want to just give you a brief history on the house. So as far as I can tell, the house was built in 1969 and then my family purchased the house in 1973. They moved here because my grandfather, Grandpa Herb, was in the Air Force, he was a fighter pilot, retired as a colonel in the Air Force. And so my, my great grandmother, Gran, and my grandmother, Lovey, we, everybody's got a name in my family, all right? So, they moved out, they drove out here in 1973, picked out a house, this is the one, and soon after my, my grandfather and my dad came out here. I think my dad was like all of 12 years old, right? So, I know this house really, really well. My sister and I would spend a ton of time here uh, growing up because my parents were busy working and that kind of stuff, so my grandparents would take a look, would take care of us. I mean, my great grandmother used to sit there and knit and hang out with my sister and I. I used to play with Legos and Hot Wheels and everything all over this room. Uh, first time I ever watched Star Wars was on a TV in that corner, um, sitting in like a Pomisan chair over there. I mean, I know this house really, really well. In fact, when I was a kid, I used to uh, mow the lawn every Saturday, make 20 bucks, because uh, I didn't get an allowance, but I could mow some lawns, make some dough. Um, I also used to mow the neighbor's lawns, so that always kind of filled my pockets in my middle school days. Um, but yeah, I, I've known this house pretty much my whole life. So now it's mine. Now my grandmother's doing fine. You know, uh, she just can't live alone. So I was looking for houses in late 2020 and I was shopping for homes and just couldn't really find what I wanted. And what I really wanted was a three car garage. And this house doesn't just have a three car garage. It has a huge three car garage. And that's a big deal to me. Um, and then everything else about the house is a bonus. It's a five bed, three bath, roughly 3000 square foot home with a 700 square foot garage. Yeah, perfect. So uh, let's go take a tour and kind of give you guys a rundown on, well, just how it is now and what's changing. All right, so here we are at the entryway. Um, it's just a big house really, but uh, this is a large formal dining area. Um, and this wall is actually gonna come out. It actually goes into what we see here, which is the dining room area. Um, and this wall is also coming out. There's actually four walls that are coming down in total on the house because I really want to open up the floor plan because, you know, that's just the millennial in me. I want large open spaces and I want more light. It's just characteristic of us uh, millennials. All right, don't trip, don't trip, don't trip. Okay, cool. So um, some stuff in here is, yeah, we're just pulling down walls and that kind of stuff. This wall behind me will also open up. Um, so this entire space is gonna be a nice, big second living dining area. Um, and I'm really excited to see that. So certain things like the cabinets right here, those are getting pulled out and more modern cabinets are going in, but we are keeping that set up, obviously different fixtures and stuff like that throughout the house. All right, so if you follow me through here, we're gonna go through a little hallway. There's actually um, a guest bath and the kitchen's back in that corner. But this brings us into the room that I spent so much time in growing up, right? This is what we, you know, it's the den. And, um, you know, gotta love the wood paneling. I actually don't hate wood paneling these days. There's just different ways of doing it. So um, I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna have like a wood wall in here, kind of as like an homage to the house and kind of, you know, it just, I just like it, okay? Uh, but anyway, fireplace, all that staying, is just gonna look a little different. Uh, if we look here in the corner, there's actually a bar top. Um, you know, homes of this era, this is actually pretty common to have like a full bar set up in your house. And so I wanted to keep it. That's staying, but it's gonna get all reconfigured, hard surfaces, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so as we leave the den, 
and head into the kitchen area. This wall right here is pretty large. It's also coming out so we can have a large open living, living and kitchen dining area over here. Now, this is probably going to make the biggest impact on the house because the kitchen is going to get completely reconfigured to keep that space in mind. If you notice, this is very much your typical kitchen of the era. There will no longer be a peninsula here. Um, that's getting pulled out and it's getting configured so that there is a center island here in the kitchen that opens up to that wall, which is going to disappear and go into that den space that we just saw. All right, so this is like my favorite thing about the house. It's the garage. This garage is not only three car, it is extremely deep. My new truck actually fits in the, in the garage, which is pretty sweet because I haven't been able to park my vehicles in a garage for a number of years, but also the ceiling height is a lot taller than normal for homes of this era. I might even be able to put like a four post or a two post lift in here, the garage is gonna be a place that I wanna spend time in and hang out, right? It's not gonna just be a place for me to like work on vehicles and do that kind of stuff. It's just gonna be a cool spot to hang out. I want it to look really well done, organized, all that kind of stuff. So this is actually something I'm super excited about. Heading out of the kitchen to the laundry area or the utility room, it's actually a really, really big room. Now, what you'll notice behind me is this is something I don't like and this is changing is this is one of the, this is the guest bath. It's basically a powder bathroom, but it has this pass through with two different doors. Um, never liked it, didn't like it as a kid, don't like it now. So this is actually going to be sealed off and this will just be its own um, utility room. You won't be able to walk through. And I think it's just gonna add a little extra privacy to the powder room um, for guests and that kind of thing. So that's gonna be a nice feature going forward. Here, let's do this. Let's just walk through, through this bathroom. What you'll find is that it's actually pretty small. It's real small, in fact. Um, but, you know, for guests and everything, not bad. But again, that, that door behind me is getting closed off because I just think it's awkward and I don't really like it. So that's gonna change. Let's head towards the bedrooms. This is actually a feature I really like about the home is that all the bedrooms are on one side of the house. So all my entertaining and all that kind of stuff goes on over here. Basically, nobody has a reason to come over here unless, you know, they're a guest staying over and that kind of stuff. First bedroom is actually the owner suite. Let's go take a look in here. It's a pretty big room. It's pretty good. Not bad. This is the bathroom. It's getting completely gutted. Everything's coming out. Brand new shower, brand new, literally everything. Countertops, all of that. I don't really hate the configuration. I just, you know, the style is kind of old. The next bedroom is actually, well, this was my dad's room growing up. Something I really like is that three out of the five bedrooms are really big. Like they're large bedrooms and they all have really like nice walk-in closets and that kind of thing. The carpet, however, is original in the closets. It's kind of funny. Big bedrooms. This will probably end up being a guest room for, my, for guests and that kind of thing. Down another hallway, we have some other bedrooms here. Uh, these are the two smaller bedrooms. I'm not really sure what I'm going to use them for yet. Admittedly, this house is way bigger than I need, but I really like the opportunity and that's really what drew me to it more than anything, that and a three car garage. So another bedroom, these two bedrooms mirror themselves. All right, before we check out the last bedroom, this is the, um, well, it's just a bathroom for the rest of the bedrooms. Um, it's actually pretty big. All of this stuff is also getting gutted out. Nothing's going to stay in here or remain. Um, you know, new, literally everything, new shower, new tub, new everything is going to be different. And so I'm excited to see how this one looks. This bedroom, I'm likely going to turn into my office because it is one of the larger bedrooms, but it faces the street. And I want to be able to just see, you know, when the mailman's coming by, when Amazon delivers stuff and that kind of thing. Now, my office is going to have an entirely different like design and look from the rest of the house. It's actually gonna be pretty, pretty like, it's gonna be pretty polarizing. Some people will love it, some people will hate it, but I really wanna turn this into my home office and also an area to take photos, shoot videos, do all that kind of stuff. And so it's finally gonna happen. This one has the largest closet other than the uh, owner suite. And so I figure that's a great place to store all my gear, maybe put a safe, 
all that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the house as it is. Uh, I'm not gonna really do the exterior stuff right now because that stuff is coming at a later date. Really the focus is gonna be just the um, interior for now. That's already gonna be a lot of work. But let's talk about everything that's gonna change, right? So, uh, put y'all down right here. Oh, a lot of wiggle, okay. So here's what's gonna change. This is a pretty extensive remodel because it's not just about doing the things that are like the aesthetics, right? It is about doing mechanical upgrades, windows. I mean, we're putting in brand new windows uh, converting it to refrigerated air. It's currently um, evaporative cooling now. We're also going to put in new furnaces uh, to be able to, to work with the refrigerated air. Um, it's, it's a lot of stuff. If you notice in the video uh, of the exterior shots, um, it has wrought iron on it. That's something I'm not really interested in keeping. So that's all coming off of the exterior of the house at the time of the window install. Um, there will be no carpet, none. I don't like carpet, it's not for me. Some people like it in the bedrooms. I just prefer not to have it at all. It's more low maintenance. I'm a single dude. I don't have anybody helping me out, cleaning and all that kind of stuff. So for me, um, having solid floors is really nice. They're basic. They're gonna be an engineered wood that is gonna go throughout the entire house. It's gonna be kind of a darker, darker wood. Actually, um, let me just show you a little rendering right there of what the house is supposed to look like. And that photo is of the kitchen and that color scheme and that design is gonna go throughout the house. So black cabinets, white countertops, um, kind of like a, a rustic brass look finish on most of the fix, on all the fixtures and that kind of stuff. It's becoming really trendy. I like the look of it. I need to start picking out things like fixtures, ceiling fans, all that kind of stuff as this happens. It's not a flip house, right? This house is, designed for me. I hired my buddy Cole Cottrell, he's an architect, um, very talented architect. If you live in Albuquerque, shoot me a DM, shoot me an email, something like that, and I'll get you in touch with him. But he's extraordinarily talented, and he helped me come up with th this design, and I think it's gonna look really, really good. I wanted the design to be more modern and updated, but I also wanted it to tie in well with the age of the home, right? The home being built in the late 60s, um, and kind of having this older vibe to it. I really, I wanna be able to have a more modern design that still kind of gives a nod to the era, right? So for me, I really like um, mid-century modern like furniture and that kind of look. I'm very much a minimalist when it comes to, you know, furnishings and that kind of stuff. I really just like a clean, simple design and I want to basically run that throughout the entire house, right? For me, each furniture piece has to have a purpose, not just to fill up space, right? I want it to have a nice purpose. I want it to add to the overall aesthetic of the home. I want every, you know, area of the house to, to just really look proper and like it's out of a magazine or something. I know um, I at one point thought I was gonna be an architect when I was a kid. So I'm really into that kind of stuff and I always have been. All right, so that's the house as it sits right now. Basically all original, nothing's really been changed. But that's soon gonna change. Thanks for watching, folks. I know this is probably a longer video than it needed to be, but I'm just super excited. I haven't had a personal home for myself, uh, well, ever. I just buy them and I flip them. So to have one that I actually, you know, I'm gonna live in, make my own, and really settle in means a lot to me. Um, it's kind of a special moment, and also being able to keep this house in my family, um, that also means a lot to me too. So. I'll keep you all updated. I'll make a progress video and then we'll make a comparison before and after. I hope you enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.